Hey kids, and welcome back to Honestville. Uh, this episode's going up uh, a couple days after it normally would on Friday, because Friday was Christmas, and on that note, uh, Merry Christmas to everyone, if you are uh, if you celebrate that, and uh, Happy New Year's, because we you may or not may not have another episode before New Year's, so in advance and belated, respectively. Um, I have a couple of uh, minor, well, news items, really. Uh, you may have noticed that uh, the stream, I'm now putting up stream archives of the Honestville Extra Twitch stream, which is on Mondays at 5 p.m. Eastern. So, because I'm going to be working on the Honestville region now in Twitch. So the region is going to change a bit between these regular episodes on YouTube. So if you want to kind of check out what happened, I will, I will give you a sort of brief summary of what I did. It's mostly going to be kind of fixing things up and expanding the city a little bit because I'd like the city to grow a bit faster. But I will be posting those stream archives so you'll be able to also uh, watch what happens. And uh, please do consider joining on Mondays to watch the, the Twitch stream. It's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah. So uh, on that note, let's uh, start out with uh, the name suggestions. Uh, so, Mail Ale recommended Christmas Town, <laughs> which which is uh, quite suitable for the time of year. I'm not going to name a neighborhood Christmas Town because uh, because it's it's only, it's not going to be Christmas for very much longer. But I will, however, name a, a a shop Christmas Town. I think that would be a good way to do things here. So, let's find. A, there we go. We'll take this building here. And it can be one of, one of those stores that like sells Christmas stuff all year round. I think that's hilarious. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, we also have a couple of other naming recommendations. So um, Luke Van uh, Leeuwen recommended that the airport be named the Flying Dutchman International Airport uh, in honor of uh, his country of residence. Where is the airport? Here. So I'm fine with that. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's weird. The airport has no capacity used. Hmm. Do uh, run the simulation for a bit and see if that fixes itself. That's very, uh, very confusing. Let's let's just check that out quickly. Actually, I'm kind of perplexed. I've never seen that happen before. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're back in business. All right. And I have a naming recommendation from Patrick Mannion, uh, who had also recommended, would recommended another name from, uh, what, what do we call it? Wheat Ridge, from where he lives in Colorado. So he's recommended Broomfields. I think we're going to, I think I'm going to put that in one of the outlying areas. I think that's a nice idea is to kind of name, uh, name another, another little suburban area, Broomfields. So I will do so shortly, because I'm going to pop over to... The neighboring region to show you guys what I've done there. Uh, I'm going to just now. Uh, I, I think I've finally figured out the neighbor connections for the highways, so I'm going to just plop a couple of those down now while we're here, and hopefully, hopefully that will work. There's only two in this region. Uh, let's just uh, let's just make sure that this is actually connected. Yep. Okay. So basically, we do that, and then we take the oops. We take the neighbor connection piece down here. We find the one that is the correct. Ooh, yeah, this is an elevated one. So, let's see if we can get that to work. I don't. I actually don't think we can use the elevated neighbor connection. So we might have to. Yeah, because this is level one. So we might have to actually fix that later, or alternatively have it be ground level. You know what? Never mind. I'll fix it off screen <laughs> because I'm gonna have to make some adjustments there. And then over here, I think as well. Yeah, we're gonna have to have that go down to ground level in order to make the neighbor connection work. Because there is no neighbor connection for level one, only level two. E R H W is level two, I think. So anyway, never mind that. Never mind that. Let's head out to the regional view. Uh actually, I will take a quick look. I may actually zone some industrial before we head over. I think that's a good idea. We do need some industrial for sure. Okay. Uh, we have, yeah, we have a fair amount of demand for high-tech in particular, and the person who recommended this name here was hoping that this industrial park would grow a bit, and I think that's a great idea. So let's, uh, let's maybe zone... I'm just gonna use, uh, some, I'm just gonna lay some streets down here and zone the, uh, actually fine like that. Um, 
go. Quickly lay down a, a street grid here. Put another one there. We might as well actually fill in this area for now. Uh, this can be deleted and moved. And I'm going to show you guys uh, right after we I finish this little uh, sort of housework here. Um, housework. What's what's housekeeping is the is the is the expression I'm looking for. Uh, we are going to head over and I'll show you what happens uh, during the stream in case you missed it. Those are those uh, stream archives. You know they tend to be like three hours long, and so I. I don't necessarily expect that people will want to always watch those, so I am, I am going to show you guys what I've done. Um, fill all this in. The edge of the map here. We may end up rezoning this later, but for the time being, we do have a fair amount of demand. And uh, okay, that is a neighbor connection, so I got to be careful with that. This here. Just run the clock. Uh, make sure they have water. Actually, I think we've probably given this whole map water at this point. Yep run the clock here. We also have, looks like a fair amount of commercial demand, so maybe not a bad idea to run the clock a bit, see if any of that builds up. Maybe we'll look for some uh, high traffic areas and zone a little bit commercial as well while we're here. We may have some low desirability for high tech industry. Did I pick the right one, I wonder? Yep. Huh. Actually, doesn't look like it should be too much of a problem. We may want to lay down some parks. I have a new park mod installed. I'm not sure if we'll get to it today. All these parks here. Um, I'm not sure if we'll get to it today, but oh, there we go. We're good. But I will at some point uh, be doing some work with that. That's excellent. Lots of uh, lots of high tech industry there, using up a, a, a little bit of that demand anyway. Get some more jobs for these folks. We are still having some abandonment in the central city here, so. Keep an eye on that. That's it's pretty normal uh, with the mod setup I have. Um, I'll be working on abandonment eventually. Let's delete some of these buildings. Take a look at the regional population once we head out there as well. Let's uh, let's look take a quick look at the traffic map in uh, Honestville Central here and see where we might want to. Like here we could put some commercial. right to the edge here and just dezone this here and make it commercial also uh, this helps with the abandonment spreading around the spreading around the commercial jobs there we go once we get this highway working finally um, we will presumably get lots of traffic around here, so... Let's look at the zoning map here. Some commercial there. Probably in this area here, there'll be some as well. Traffic. Not so much here, though. Here we can do some commercial. like that. Some of this may go to uh, high density commercial as well later, but for now, I think we're good with that. Over here as well, although I don't think there's much traffic in this area because there's nothing on these neighboring tiles there, so that will be, oh, here we go. That will be something to, to do soon as well, is to go to some of those neighboring tiles and uh, do some do some building. Might do that this episode, or we might we might go elsewhere. I still haven't decided. On a wing in it. Uh, yes, this area here. I think we're gonna go to dense commercial. I'll we'll probably just actually drag over a bunch of this, this. Kind of expanding the central business district of the city as needed. We might be missing some bus stops in there as well. So 
developing nicely. Somebody pointed out that the um, commercial services demand is is pretty much insatiable, which is true. I think it's basically every time the city grows, they just always want this. And if you're not careful, if you give too many commercial services, you can actually, you know, not get office demand and stuff like that. So it is something to keep in mind. Uh, if it's if I think we're having a problem with that, I might tax commercial services more in the central city. In the outlying areas, I don't really care because we're kind of reserving office development for, for this area here. Well, looks like we've used up part of that anyway. We're about uh, nearly two, 250,000 in this, in this central district. Okay, let's take a look here and see if there's a little bit of traffic. Um, maybe up here we can get, we can put some. Oh yeah, there already is some there. Hmm. Well, a little bit of uh, the lower density stuff uh, in various places along here. Uh, that's a mess. To get rid of some zots here eventually. Because there's definitely a, a severe lack of employment along uh, in, in this area here. There we go. and stuff. To extend some industry here might help actually get these people some jobs. But uh, there is also the, the pollution from this uh, power plant, so I'll have to keep that in mind. Oops. Here we go. See, these are these are actually coming back to life. I'm gonna be putting some parks in this city soon. That's partly why I, why I uh, downloaded that park parks mod is to give us some more interesting parks to place. Because um, you know it's a pretty dense tile at this point. Two hundred and fifty thousand in uh, four square kilometers is. Uh, what is that? I don't know. It's it's very dense though. Let's put it that way. 75, 75,000 per square kilometer, which is which is really kind of Manhattan level density. So um, actually, it's even above average for for Manhattan, I think. So we'll definitely want to be reducing the population density of this tile at some point, I think. Um, putting more employment zones, particularly more office zones and stuff. Out of water as well. Let's fix the water problem, and then I'll show you what we've uh, what I've done. Uh... Interesting. Not sure. Oh yeah, I could delete these now that I have the now that I have the black hole. That could be an interesting idea. Uh, let's do that. Let's place the. Black Hole Waste Management Facility. I know it's right near residential still, but we're going to put it there. And we'll just get rid of these. I don't think they're necessary, so... Good help. Good help, and maybe some of these will come back to life. Yeah. Oh, I need to figure out the water thing. are, yeah, these are water treatment facilities. Uh, we may not need that one, this one here. So let's delete it, because there used to be a bunch of really dirty industry there, and I, I don't think we're actually going to need that anymore. So I'm going to put a large water pump here for now. The city and water. God, we have 16 million. Definitely not having money problems. Take a look at some of the services at some point in this tile as well. Make sure we're spending spending all the money we need. Actually, one thing we could do that I always forget to do uh, is go to the ordinances here, and we'll just do a bunch of these. Um, well, if there's anything I don't want, uh, I, I don't want the nuclear ban. So I got to be careful about that. Yeah, 
so just not that one. And I don't like the curfew one because it's super lame. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here that's particularly stupid, but there we go. Might as well spend some of the money that we have. Having some, definitely having some uh, graphic issues. Yeah, there is some water. It looks like there is some, some water pollution there, so we may actually need to uh, put that back, but uh, we'll see for now. Ah. This area here for sure. Let's put some. Let's put some commercial near a train station. There we are. Like. Fairly busy train station. No, it's not that busy. And there we go. Okay. So we're going to head over to the neighboring wards where I'm going to show you what I did there. And we'll probably find a place to... Uh, I'm going to look for that place, good place for that naming suggestion. I'm just crossing off my list here. Right. Uh, oh, it's still saving. <laughs> there we go. I do have an SSD uh, that I've ordered that should be arriving soon, so I may be moving this game over to an SSD, and that might reduce some of these load times that we have. As, uh, as the cities get bigger, they, they do get bad. I'll be curious to see that. So we're up to 400,000 regional population. Uh, last episode, we were in Northeast Ward here, and we had started building this small suburb of... What, what do we call it? Um, Wheat Ridge. And so Patrick Mannion's other name suggestion, which I guess is in the same area of Colorado, is Broomfields, which I think it might be cool to kind of name this, because this is something, this is what I built during the live stream. So we'll go with that. I think that's cool. Oh, did that? Did I just delete that? Although, mind you, Broomfields kind of, I kind of like the idea of this being a ridge. Oh, did I just turn them off? Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with it for now. We'll go with it for now. I might want to move this name, actually. I'm not sure that it's, uh, you know, I feel I kind of feel like a more of, more of, you know, an open plain might be a better place for that. Uh, so let's take a look at what I did here. Uh, I added on a couple of highway highway interchanges. They're, they're kind of janky. Uh, I do need to, I might want to do a little bit of work on them at some point, um, but I kind of got sick of playing around with them. Um, you know, just in terms of the flattening out the terrain and stuff like that. Um, I, I don't particularly like to flatten huge areas of the city just, just in order to make these, so they do end up looking a little bumpy like this, but I may, I may end up going back and doing that at some point. Might be able to do something neat with an on-slope type thing here. Uh, we'll see. Although the ramps don't work on slopes, so... There is that, there is that, but uh, we'll see if there's a way to perhaps flatten out this and stuff at some point. Uh, and yeah, I just extended the kind of medium density area over here. And yeah, this is new as well, I think. And this is new. A few of these anyway. That one might have been there before, I'm not sure. Uh, this highway now also goes into the neighboring tile there because I have some industry see if it's getting used. It doesn't look like it. Uh, I'm a little bit suspicious that these neighbor connections may or may not be working, but we shall see. Oh yeah, we need uh, more electricity here. Let's just do that quickly. Grab as much as we need here. Not really worried about water pollution for the time being. A fair amount of uh, residential demand. Still a fair amount of high-tech demand as well, though. Might not be a bad idea to uh, put some high-tech along this highway, although... Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think there's much uh, much room in here. We, I will ex I will be ex expanding this kind of suburban area uh, in these hills, and then I think there's also going to be some kind of park area in, in this hilly area as well. So, And we'll also expand this rail line here eventually. But I think we'll hold off on that for now. 
we'll hold off on that for now. Let's let's pop out to the regional view and uh, just just sort of make some plans for the region going forward. Uh, I'm going to show you what I did in North Ward as well. Starting to have some coherence to this uh, this highway layout. Um, this highway just sort of ends here, and I, I think it. I'm going to probably adjust this. But we shall see. Oh yeah, there's a couple things I did here now that I'm now that I'm remembering. Um, first of all, ages ago I had built the port area on the waterfront here, uh, and this port. Oh, I should get rid of that. Leftovers from the uh, the stream here. Um, <laughs> be right back. Uh, this port here uh, is one of the one of the seaports from uh, the functional seaports mod, BSC functional seaports, and it grows to growth stage eight. So one thing I did is I built a whole bunch of industry in this tile uh, in order to get it to grow. Uh, so. So that's kind of interesting, and so you can see that there's actually a fair amount of unused industrial uh, industrial zones here. So again, this this may may very likely get rezoned. In fact, we might want to do that now. To run the clock a bit here, take a look at water pollution. If I can get some, uh... oh yeah, we can put some uh, we can put a water treatment plant. And in here, might as well. Good. A little bit of tidying things up. Looks like I put a couple over there as well. But uh, I might be interested in seeing if I can get some uh, high-tech industry to grow in this tile. Yeah, we got a lot of high-tech demand. Here we go. That uh, that seems to have what we can do in terms of desirability here. Oh yeah, we definitely need uh, we need something to a fair amount of air pollution. Might be able to mitigate the air pollution with parks. Let's see if I can make use of some of this industrial some of this industrial zoning. One thing I can do is rezone. Well, it looks like all of this, there's no dirty until over here. This should be rezoned here. Yeah, rezone this and that will help for sure. Oops, no, I want to I actually want this one. There we go. That's, yep, getting some high tech industry there. We may want to actually zone some residential in this tile as well. God, there's just so much demand for high tech industry. Yeah, let's uh, let's expand the residential areas of this tile a bit. Maybe we'll we'll pick a spot and do a park in this city. I think that's uh, I think that's a good idea. So I kind of like to leave the areas close to the ports, industrial. Yeah, we can get rid of some of this over here. Maybe might not be a bad idea to get some residential areas going. In some of these sort of underdeveloped zones here. Maybe we can build a big park to to sort of like there's sort of the beginnings of a park there. So I think what we'll do is put a large park in this area here. And I'll show you guys the new park mod that I have. Basically, this this is sort of a modular. It's called Plaza Parks. I'll try and remember to post the uh, the mod in the description. But it's it's basically a bunch of these parks here that have that are sort of modular and have these have these pathways on them. So I'll see if I can find some interesting ones here. Um, 
like that's just a simple square one. You can kind of make these pathways that cross the parks. I think there's a statue somewhere here. That's kind of a corner one. We might uh, that might be useful. Uh, uh, might be able to do something more interesting for the corner there. Be here. How this looks. You just got to kind of rotate them around. There's actually another mod that makes them a little bit easier to that changes the icons to make it a little bit easier to use these. But they are cool. They are very cool. I might be playing around with that as well. Hmm. Yeah, I might be able to find a better a better corner piece for that. Let's uh, take a look here. That one might actually work. Hmm. Maybe. I gotta get the uh, the logic of this. Yeah, that actually is kind of cool. Um, let's see. Can use for sort of diagonal areas here. Figure out which way the arrow has to point. There we go. The arrow is pointing to the right. There we go. I do find that they have a lot of trees. They're a little bit intense on, in terms of the number of trees that they have, but uh, but other than that, they're they're pretty cool parks. I don't know which. Where was the corner piece? Was it this guy? Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of cool. Let's see what else we can discover here. Okay, that's that's sort of a square, almost a central piece of some kinds. Aha. That's a sort of T-shaped one. And there we have what looks like another another option for a sort of corner piece. Look at sort of the reverse of what we just placed. Sure. Yeah, there we go. That I think is the I'm not sure what that is. Just sort of a, a, a more lush one, basically. But yeah, so that's that's basically what these do. I've got a few more. But there's tons of them, basically. Uh, and they add, they're going to add a lot of variety to parks in the city. So I think it'll be fun to, to work with those. I think... We'll delete a few of these for now, though. I'm going to keep this this nice row here. Oh, and the corner piece. These two corner pieces. And I'll, we'll figure out a way of, of putting those in nicely there. I think we will be, end up using some more of those pieces. Let's see if I can get the uh, the sides done first. What I'd like one is just what I'd like is one that's just along the edge, if possible. like there is. That's okay. I think we'll go with open paved areas for now. But uh, definitely going to be playing around a bit more with those in the future. For sure. For now we'll just fill these in here like this. And we'll find something a little bit more interesting to put in here. But uh, definitely, uh, definitely not a bad idea to add some variety to the parks. I 
it's definitely looking more interesting already, even without uh, without having figured out the best way to use all of those. But I, I quite like that little diagonal row there, and these sort of corner pieces are kind of neat too. We'll uh, we'll continue to uh, to work on those. Actually, these might line up nicely. I might be able to line up these little pathways there. That might be an interesting way to do things. And I, I think we're actually going to name this area uh, Broomfields. This could be kind of cool. Kind of a redeveloped industrial area um, that we're going to try and make into a nicer uh, a nicer uh, residential area. That's that's cool. Similar thing here. I'm gonna grab this guy again for now. Make these kind of interesting little pathways. Be able to get something with uh, with a, a piece along the edge. like that. Oh man, my menus are getting so jam-packed full of stuff, it's pretty hilarious. If I'm honest. It is pretty hilarious. Is that? That actually looks pretty good. Let's figure out which way it goes. Nope. Yeah, those are kind of neat. Those are definitely kind of neat in terms of uh, filling out, filling out these park areas, making them more interesting. Kind of a big open plaza there, and there's another plaza on the other side. But uh, we'll continue to play around with those, and I'll be looking for other, other interesting park mods as well later, just to uh, add more variety. Uh, let's uh, let's get to work rezoning this. There's definitely too much, too much industry, a little bit too much industry in uh, in this town. Now that that, now that that, uh, place that road. Now that the port is is kind of filled out, uh, it doesn't. We don't really need to have quite that much industry uh, in this town. There will be industry elsewhere. Uh, it's just that the only way to get those ports to grow to their full capacity is to is to uh, to fill up their industrial capacity. So, uh, like this. Make sure we're not dezoning any streets here. There we go. Uh, just take a look at education in this tile quickly. Actually, like we're pretty good. A large school there. Do we have a high school? We have one high school. It doesn't really cover the whole area. Let's just. Uh, yeah, we're actually gonna just need a, a jumbo high school, I think. So let's grab a big one. I'm gonna probably download some new schools soon too. It's on my list. There are some interesting ones out there. Although with the radius mod, it'll be a little bit weird. That looks like it's a high school as well. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just put this there. Be an interesting neighborhood. Let's take a look. We might uh, might be worth putting a train station here. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going to happen with this. Okay, this is a bit ridiculous. I never uh, never actually finished this as well. There's going to be some kind of overpass or something going on here. Um, or this highway is going to veer off somewhere else, but 
That will be that will be work for for probably a Twitch stream. It's gonna be a bit finicky. Aha, these blocks are sort of not optimized for the residential. These parks were sort of laid at random in order to encourage this go. In order to encourage uh, high tech industry, which we don't need them anymore. to see what we have in terms of rewards. Not much. We have a university. A cemetery. Ooh, there's a statue. Let's, uh, let's drop a statue in here. Cool, I love it. I'm wondering if we had a... Uh, Ooh, City Hall. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going to place that. We also have a Major League Stadium. Let's uh, let's put a church, though. Sure. I don't think this is where the City Hall is going to be, but... but... Yeah, this neighborhood just got definitely got some interesting features already. For a redeveloped in uh, industrial area. Hopefully, some of the industry will develop as well. I want to look at transportation. I think we might be just sticking another train station here. Yeah, I think it's worth it for now. Long term, we'll have to think about uh, what kinds of transit solutions we're going to be using in this region. At some point soon, I think a, a subway is going to be in order. Um, put a train station here, we are going to have to extend this road, like so. In fact, you know what, I think I'm going to use a different train station. Uh, there's one that I've been using a lot lately, uh, off-screen, that I quite like. I've used it a couple times in this region, I can't remember actually, but this one here that goes straight over the rail uh, is has a lot of advantages. It doesn't take up quite as much space, right? I'm just going to do this for now. And we'll probably need to think about another uh, another underpass, probably up here. Sort that out later. That's a real ugly mess. Oh, there is a train station up there as well. Hmm. I don't know if this train station is particularly well placed. How much use is it getting? So let's actually delete this one for now. Have the one that's a little bit closer to the uh, residential area. Yeah. And then there's one looking here. Is there one here? Man, it's it's uh, it's hilarious. How I forget. Oh yeah, there's one here. There. And yeah, I don't mind moving that one a little bit closer. That one was, that was sort of an awkward spot there. And I think the rest will stay industrial for now. This neighborhood is somewhat surrounded by industry, uh, but that's okay for now. Got a bunch of demand for um, manufacturing industry. But this will help to mitigate the, uh, the pollution. Not have quite so much industry concentrated in this one area. Make sure 
this is working. Yep. Uh, and I should actually probably put some bus stops. It's fine. Yeah, this train station is going to be good because it's going to serve the dual purpose of sort of people going to work in the industrial area and also these residential areas. But the bus system is getting pretty pretty efficiently used. This area here should be developed as well. Sure. I quite like uh, quite like those parks. I, I feel like uh, I feel like they're so this Plaza Parks mod. I feel like they're best used along with the vanilla uh, resources. If I'm honest, as soon as I placed this this medium park here, it gave a lot of structure to it. There's actually one here that I don't think I like. Um, actually, no, that's good. Yeah, this piece here is good. Um, there's I see there's a, a grass area here. To stick a plaza. There it is. See, I think they like, they actually look quite good because they're very densely packed, full of greenery and benches and stuff. So when you surround them with a little bit of empty paved space or grass space, I think they actually look better. Um, I think they I think they look better when when you do it like that. But yeah, they uh, they sort of divide up the parks in an interesting way. So yeah, I think we'll actually, I'm going to remove that other name because I think this is a better area. We're going to call this um, Broomfield Park, and I think the neighborhood will be called that as well. I, I, the, the naming recommendation was actually Broomfields, but I think we're going to call it Broomfield Park because we do need a, we do need a name for this, for this area here. And I would imagine that the residential area may expand and uh, the in industry may move a little farther east. Uh, industry may move a little farther east here. I think we've used up uh, some of that demand. Probably get rid of some of the dirty industry here as well. Let's uh, do that. That'll that'll encourage development in that new residential area as well. Quite like I'm quite I'm really can't get enough of the. Uh, I don't want this one. I want uh, this one. I can't get enough of the Industrial Revolution mod. It allows the kind of thing that we're doing right now, kind of redesignating in industrial areas. It makes it a lot easier to do so. I'll just kind of make sure that the areas near the residential are not dirty industry. Pushing that dirty industry farther and farther east. Probably don't have too too much demand. I also should upzone. Kind of want to upzone this stuff here. That's fairly close into uh, into the city. And leave a little strip along the water's edge. Kind of some a little bit of a manor district there. Probably need to expand the commercial in this town too. I don't know if we have any demand. Yeah, we do. Take a look at traffic and do that as well. Here looks like I've already done this one here though. We get these little main streets going again. We get wet like we have in the neighboring cities. Uh, this as well. Something needs to go. Something needs to happen there. Okay. Stadium. I think it's time. It's a little bit, a uh, little bit isolated. This, um, 
fact, wouldn't be a bad area to put a stadium. Um, it's a little bit isolated right now in this kind of industrial area, uh, but uh, but we will uh, we'll look at that. Look at that. We are getting some use on the RHW here. Bus, cars, ferries. I don't know why in the other region it doesn't show any. Evening commutes. Yeah, one side of it's not working, I think. Oh, no. No, it looks like it's good. It looks like it's good. Hmm. It's definitely getting used. Definitely getting used. And I think we'll be wanting to put some commercial along here. For sure. So do that. And grab the commercial. I think there's no bus here. That's another thing we need to do. tidying things up, and um, next episode, well, sorry, tomorrow on, on the Monday night stream, what I mean to say is, um, I think we're going to kind of clean up this, this mess here, figure out what's happening with these highways, and this tile is going to be, kind of wrap up this tile, I think, wrap up this tile so that we can really start moving out to some of those other tiles, fill in some of these areas here. Uh, probably another little suburban area here. This is all going to go. Actually, we can uh, we can get rid of get rid of most of this here. Uh, even this this railway here. This whole configuration is going to go. In fact, I'll just delete it now because we do have the black hole waste thing. This area here has also been opened up for maybe some more industrial expansion. Uh, and I think yeah, I think a highway is going to probably carve through here. Another suburban area up here. And so that will all be to, uh, on the Monday evening stream, which is tomorrow. And I will post that as a stream archive. I'll be filling out these areas here. Uh, before we end this episode, though, I, I do want to place... I can place the radio station. Bad idea. I like to place these on hills. So, kind of take advantage of... We're up here, actually, for now. And... Cemetery. I'm gonna put that near the church. And we'll place the stadium. We've got a disease research center, too. That's kind of cool. City Zoo. Uh, and a cruise ship port. Interesting. Let's uh, find a spot here for a stadium. Actually, near the uh, train station is never a bad idea. We're going to be a bit careful, though, because we do need to have some kind of ramp system going under that rail. Yeah. Hmm. So uh, let's just leave a little bit of space. Hopefully I can fit a, a fluff in there. Otherwise, I'll just move it. But uh, I don't mind that find that location. You know what? I'm not sure I do like that location, though. Hmm. Take a look. Not bad. I almost want to place it... I almost want to place it... over here, though. Yeah, in fact, let's do it. Let's get rid of those two water treatment plants, and we'll just move this over here. I think we can fit it in here, kind of on the corner of this. There we go. Kind of here. That's really cool because I like the way that this, I like the way that this this corner here. Let's uh, let's make this commercial. I like the way that uh, this corner kind of interacts with the the square here. And there we go. Yeah, that's looking quite nice. You need 
to uh, get a little bit more water. Another one over here. It's good to me. Shifting the the uh, the industrial mess farther, further and further away from the residential areas. A little road that goes along here. This. And as I said, we'll, we'll do some suburban development here, fix up the highway, figure out what's going on with that, and continue this next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, please do uh, follow on Twitch and check out the Monday night streams. We're going to be able to do a lot more building uh, in those longer Twitch streams. Uh, but I'm quite happy with this little, this little neighborhood that we've created this episode. And uh, try and get this region expanding. This region expanding quicker, get those highways built and get a sense of, you know, we're going to be building subways and things like that soon. So I think uh, I think it's lots of exciting stuff coming up soon. And if you can't make the stream, then as I said, the stream archives will be going up now on the channel. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Ciao.